Hi guys, welcome to Basement Supercar Build, the channel where we see if an average guy like me can design and build his own mid-engine car. This video will be a highlights video of the work that was finished this week. If you want to see the actual work take place, watch the full length video for this week. And with that out of the way, let's get started on this week's video. I want to show you guys this this morning before I start. Uh, I set this rear Corvette hatch up here just to get a visual what it would look like, how much of the engine you can see through the opening. And uh, while I won't be using this hatch off the Corvette, uh, I will be using the glass. So the glass is the same size. And this is the glass. When you walk up to the car, what you'll be able to see. Now there'll be plastic shrouds over on both sides hiding some of the engine, but you will see the, uh, the intake and the fuel rails. And if you look, lean over far enough or look from the side, you may see the plumbing for the turbos, things like that. Well, the engine wiring harness came in today and there's kind of a long story behind this. But I ordered an ECU and wiring harness package from JEGS. And uh, when I ordered it, there was like a six or seven week lead time on the, They were out of stock everywhere. So I placed my order. And uh, when the uh, lead time came due for them to ship the product, which was like uh, six or seven weeks, they sent me an email and said it was going to be another two months. But the lady at Holly said the best case scenario is end of spring or early summer before I have the uh, actual ECU or the engine computer. So we'll be working on other things in the meantime. I just measured for the axles from the uh, rear hubs to the transaxle. I'm going to go ahead and get those ordered. They're not too bad price wise. And uh, Probably in the next few days to a week, I'm going to go ahead and order the wheels and tires I'm going to put on the car and get those on the way. There are several wiring harness supplements that I need to go between this wiring harness and my engine. I'm missing the wiring harness for the coils, which I wasn't expecting. I need a couple of different uh, sensors on the engine that don't match up to the connectors on the wiring harness. So I need to make a list of those things and get them ordered also. Anyway, let's get back to building. Okay, let's take a look at what we have accomplished this week. The wiring harness came in for the ECU and I've started running wires. You can see the wires running to the coils, the wires running to the fuel injectors. Here's the bulk of the harness here. Comes down and I have it fastened up under here. I drilled and tapped some holes for some uh, mounts for zip ties. I have it running around the battery inserted right now because everything runs down to the battery here it's, it's in close proximity uh, these two connectors will go to the ECU which will be mounted here on the firewall somewhere in this general area and uh, once it comes in here in a couple more days uh, actually I think I forgot to tell you I, uh, I managed to find one of these ECUs that is out of stock in the whole country uh, it was on uh, Summit. Summit Racing had one and I just happened to find it in inventory. I called them. I put it in my uh, my shopping cart ready to pay for it and before I pulled the trigger I called them and said hey is this really in stock and he said yes I have one in stock only and I said well I'm buying it right now and uh, I got shipping confirmation on it so it was actually in stock. It should be here in a couple more days and once that ECU comes in I can mount it here to the firewall and start running these wires and get exact lengths so everything aligns and looks neat. And then there's a power wire here that attaches to the ECU and it will run down here and attach to the battery. There's some various cables. These are power wires to the batteries. These are different input output sending cables to various things that I'll be using in the future. And these are some miscellaneous input outputs that you can use on the wiring harness. We'll be using some of those. I just don't know how many yet. I know one thing will be running to the fans, the cooling fans on the radiators in the front of the car to turn those on. But I'm not quite sure what else. Uh, let's see. Here's some more wiring. There's wires comes around to a few sensors here. Uh, this is a fuel pressure. I've got to uh, 
get a fitting that plums this into the fuel pressure regulator uh, map sensor manifold air temperature it will plug in it'll screw into this location here and this will plug onto the back of it um, these run to the fuel regulator all three of these um, that's about it um, just waiting on that ECU to come in so we can continue wiring but uh, we were lucky to find one and the wiring is coming along nicely uh, we also plumbed the waste gates both of these have uh, vacuum lines running up let's go ahead and look at this one it comes up and it goes to a fitting here on the turbo so it knows if there's pressure or not to open and close these valves we welded on the blow-off valve here and a vacuum line hooks to it and runs up to the vacuum on the intake. So once we get a manifold, we can start plumbing all the vacuum lines in and that manifold will be here in one or two more days it is ordered. And we can start hooking up all of our vacuum lines. So one, of, one of which will be going to the front of the car or the brake booster for the master cylinder. And uh, I ordered wheels and tires this week one of the wheel sizes was on back order so it's going to be a couple of weeks probably before they come in but they are on order once they arrive i can start setting up the coil spring heights and get the ride height correct on the car just give us some reference dimensions uh, a couple of things i need to do i need to order a weld bung i need to drill a hole here for this sensor and weld that weld bung in I ordered the wrong somehow I don't know how but I ordered the wrong fitting here for the uh, coolant temperature the uh, I originally had a three plug three pin connector and the harness is a two pin so I ordered a new two pin and the diameter is wrong to screw into the head so I need to find out what I did wrong there and order a new one we started cutting and welding on the exhaust and this is the first time I've ever welded stainless steel so uh, my welds are not beautiful none of my welds are I'm just not that particular with my welds but I believe they are strong they look okay and surprisingly stainless steel was pretty easy to weld I could thought anyway I didn't find anything difficult about it one muffler came in we fitted the muffler just to check and make sure that it would work the size and shape looks good to me um, there's not a lot of restriction in this muffler you can see right through it so I'm hoping it doesn't uh, have a lot of restriction here with my 90s and my bends in this muffler because turbos don't like restrictions and exhaust. They like the air to flow freely. So I'm hoping this will be okay. I welded up both of these fittings here and this will offset the muffler and get it out here. I think they're going to stand vertical but they may lean out at a, a certain many degrees. But this offset allowed me to have a little bit of trunk space here between the mufflers. And... Uh, once the mufflers are welded on here, I'll probably stop on them and leave them for now. But once the body is designed, I'll see if I need to add an extension on the back of these or if I just need to put the exhaust tips straight on the muffler because the back of the car is going to be right in this general area. So if I extend them, it won't be very much, just an inch or two. But I will leave them for now until after we uh, get the body designed and put on the car and see what we need to add or take away. But I guess that's going to be about it for this week. I think we accomplished a lot, and I'll see you guys again next week where the ECU will be here. We can start mounting it and continue on the wiring and probably continue on mounting these mufflers onto the exhaust. See you guys again in one week.